Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to open up a few packages, uh, mail day packages that I've purchased uh, over the internet. A couple are eBay, one is from a Facebook uh, baseball card group. And so I thought I'd show you a few things I picked up lately. Let's keep you guys abreast of what I've had going on. Um, go ahead and crack into these. I'm not going to find anything too crazy, but just a few of my recent pickups that I've had sitting around, and I figured I should bust into them and let you guys check them out. Oh man, this first one is packaged very well. Got it wrapped up in paper here. All right, so this was a couple team sets from the um, team sets for you.com. Uh, one is information. Look at that. Pretty cool business card. This guy is out of Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I picked up a couple team sets of 2016 Bowman Chrome Draft. Obviously, that's a big release year with Pete Alonzo and Glaber Torres, I believe, is in there. Uh, Vladdy Jr. is in the 16 Bowman. Now, this is Bowman Chrome Draft, so I'm not sure which all of those guys. I don't think Vladdy's in the Bowman Chrome Draft. But I think Alonzo is. So, I picked up the team set of the St. Louis Cardinals. And the reason I picked up the Cardinals is because of, hopefully, a guy who's in here. Let's see if I can crack it open here. Delvin Perez, not the reason. Jeremy Martinez, first Bowman Chrome, don't know anything about him. Walker Robbins, no. Dakota Hudson, first Bowman Chrome, that's not a bad one. He's now with the Arizona Diamondbacks. But here's the real reason I purchased this. Dylan Carlson who shot up the draft lists, or not draft lists, sorry about that, shot up the prospect list last year after uh, Nolan Gorman was kind of the number one prospect in the Cardinals organization going into last year. And then Carlson, a switch hitter, just absolutely crushed it last year. And so that card's in good shape to get his card. And Jack Flaherty has a card in here. Not his first Bowman, but it's still a, a Bowman of Jack Flaherty. Uh, that team set for the Cardinals, I picked up for... Nine dollars, nine dollars, which isn't bad at all. Um, I bought the Dylan Carlson Bowman Chrome for five dollars at a baseball card show a few months ago. Um, and so to get nine dollars, obviously it paid a little bit more, but the Bowman Chrome, first Bowman Chrome of Dylan Carlson is going for about nine dollars, and I got the whole team along with it. So on eBay, his prices are going up. Here's another team I picked up, the whole team lot of the Washington Nationals from 2016 Bowman Chrome. Bowman Chrome excuse me. Uh, there's a couple good players in here. Here's one of them. Jesus Lazardo, who's now with the Oakland A's. Uh, he was sent over in the Sean Doolittle trade to Oakland and is now the number one prospect uh, pitching prospect for the Oakland Athletics. Uh, this card looks like it might be all right. I thought it might have something, a little something on the bottom right-hand corner, but it looks fairly clean. Sheldon, I don't know how to say his name, Nice or Noose. Uh, Nuece? <laughs> I don't know. He is, I believe, with Oakland as well. He also might have been part of that trade. And then this one, Carter Keeboom, first Bowman Chrome. Or Kaiboom, I, I may be pronouncing his name wrong as well. So to get three Bowman Chrome, first Bowmans, Dane Dunning. Here's another one. This is a really an underrated team set, you guys. Dane Dunning is with the White Sox now. He's been hurt so much. He might have been part of the Giolito trade even. Um, he's been hurt so much that he hasn't really made it to the major leagues yet, but he has really good minor league numbers. Uh, Daniel Johnson, uh, Rafael Bautista, and then Eric Fetty, who isn't horrible, but that's just his regular Bowman Chrome, not a first Bowman Chrome. But to get all those guys, Lazardo, um, Sheldon's okay, Kaiboom or Keyboom, and then the Dane Dunning, all three of those in the same team set. If you can find that, it might be worth looking into. I'm just going to set those right there. Um, because I picked up that Washington team set for like $5.50. So I purchased both those from the same guy. The shipping got combined, and with the combined shipping, it um, really helped the price bring it down. So I paid about, I don't know, maybe close to $20 total for all those cards. That's my first package. Um, we'll do package number two here. This one, I believe, came from Ohio. I don't actually remember what is in this one. I think it's more Bowman Chrome, but I could be wrong. This might also be... Oh, okay, yeah, I remember what this is. All right, so I just purchased some single cards of 
uh, individual players. These aren't team sets or anything of uh, first Bowman Chrome from 2016. I don't know why I was on a 2016 kick. Whoa, knocking my camera down. Sorry about that. I don't know why I was on a 2016 kick, but I was. And he has this thing taped on here, of course, so it's going to be tough to open. Um, give me a second. I'll try to break into it. Uh, but while I am doing that, I will yeah, um, give you a preview of my second package. So my second package over here, or the third one, sorry, is actually going to be a lot of cards that I bought off of Facebook. There was a guy who has like a collectible store, I think. Uh, but he also posts some stuff online in his own Facebook group for his collectibles. And um, I picked up quite a few cards he had just posted a sale on Facebook. And you could reply if you were wanted to purchase the cards at the price that he had. And I uh, was able to find some cards that I was looking for in the Tops 2020 Series 1 set. I'm trying to put together the, the whole set by hand and oh my goodness this is why I hate using regular scotch tape or transparent tape because the painters tape the blue tape is so much better so you gotta like pick at this stuff and it's just absolutely a nightmare and there we go sorry about that delay guys can't believe that just regular tape it's just so annoying all right so anyway I picked up all these cards I can't remember the prices for each one um, these are all single cards from 2016 Bowman. First Bowman of Justin Dunn, who I think might be with Seattle now. He might have also been a part of that Robinson Cano trade. Justin Dunn, first Bowman Chrome. Saw his interview on the MLB Network, and it was pretty good over the over the offseason. A.J. Puck, first Bowman. A.J. Puck came up last year at the very end of the year, pitched out of the bullpen. Had a chance to make the rotation this year to start the season, and then got hurt right at the end of spring training, but he might be recovered now, where he could be considered a rotation contender. Nick Solak, who was looking to get regular playing time with the Rangers. Uh, he hit really well last year in limited time. And then when uh, Willie Calhoun got hit uh, by that fastball in the face by Julio Arias, he was kind of projected to be their overall, not overall, but their everyday player out in the outfield, taking the place of Willie Calhoun. But uh, Calhoun's probably recovered now. I don't know. Solak might just be more of a utility guy, but he has some really good hitting numbers. Matt Manning, minor league, one of the top pitching prospects in all the minor leagues. He is with along along with Casey Mize, one of the top prospects, pitching prospects in the minor leagues. Matt Manning there, kind of got a weird look on his face. But hasn't seen his major league debut yet, but it'll be coming before too long. Zach Collins, catcher for the Chicago White Sox. Featured him in some other videos. There's Jesus Lazardo again. Just had his card out of the team set. Picked this one up. Got a little bit of a debris there. Wipe that off. Jesus Lazardo, obviously with Oakland now. Uh, everyone says he's just going to be absolutely good. Some people kind of compare him to a young Johan Santana. Ian Anderson still in the minors for the Atlanta Braves, but should be making his debut before too long. And Garrett Hampson, who came up last year and was just kind of okay, but he's got a good pedigree and a lot of good speed, so I think he can maybe make some waves with Colorado. So that is my second package. I'm Sorry about that tape that just makes it absolutely ridiculous to try to get in there. I'm going to put those back in this case just for now. Keep them off to the side. And then the last one. So yeah, like I said, this is from a Facebook uh, group. I'll try to post a... I think it's Aldridge's... Aldridge's Collectibles. Well, maybe I can put that in there after it, if I edit this. But I was able to pick up a whole bunch of cards here. See, now this is the tape that I wanted. See how much easier this tape is, is to get into? Don't have to pick at it with your fingernails. Doesn't take 30 minutes to get into it. So he has this secure with his painter's tape. Uh, he had a bunch of cards. Man, I bet he posted, I bet upwards of 200 pictures of just pages of cards in binders, and then you could just pick the ones that you wanted at the price that he had listed. Most of these I picked up for like a dime, a quarter, 50 cents. It's just going to be a variety of of older cards and then 2020 top series one that I'm looking for to try to complete my set. So I'll go ahead and get these out of this case and we'll run through them and then we'll be done. All right, let's just take the first group off the stack. First one, Juan Gonzalez, rookie card, 1990 upper deck. Uh, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know Juan Gonzalez was like my favorite player 
in the mid 90s to late 90s all throughout junior high and high school he was my number one guy he, even above griffey above bonds it was juan gonzalez and i actually don't even have this card which is not that valuable of a card but the rookie card upper deck was one i didn't have and i grabbed this one for like 10 cents or a quarter i can't even remember what it was um all right here we go here's robel garcia this is just a rookie that I have not picked up yet in 2020, 2020 tops. Nick Solak was another 2020 top series one card I didn't have. Just saw him. I had another, he had another Juan Gonzalez in his lot there, so I grabbed that one as well. George Brett, iconic player for Kansas City. See, I've got my Kansas City Kauffman Stadium uh, background here. Uh, this is the old school crown. This is back when they had AstroTurf and the no seating in the outfield you can see now out here in my little background there's all that seating in the outfield uh, i picked up quite a few george brett cards i believe this is 92 that's no, 94 sorry 94 tops here's some turkey red inserts i'm trying also trying to get all the turkey red cards from 2020 series one that i didn't have so you'll see quite a few of these bogarts goldschmidt um joey gallo oh he even had a basketball scotty pippen 1990 fleer forgot about that one uh, I've been watching that Michael Jordan documentary, obviously. And I don't think I have this Scottie Pippen card, so I grabbed that one. Here's another George Brett. This is from the end of his career. See, 1992. Look at all that tiny font. George Brett, the only player to win a batting title in three decades. You can see there, way over here on the right, these red numbers signify he led the league in batting average. 333 batting average in 1977. 390 in his iconic chase at 400 in the year 1980. They went to the World Series that year and lost to the Philadelphia Phillies. And then with 329 average in the year 1990. So he won a batting title in three different decades. The amazing George Brett. I got a couple 86 George Bretts. This one has a little printing error, a little dot on the A there. This one's in better shape. Here's another George Brett. I believe this is 84. All-star card. We got the batting leaders, Rod Carew, George Brett, and Cecil Cooper. This is from 84 as well. This is 85, All Star. Uh, 1989. I'm, I was also trying to get some of these old tops George Brett releases that I don't think I have. This is 1990 George Brett. This card's actually in MLB The Show 20 if you play that. Here's another top Series 1 card I didn't have Patrick Corbin. Just add that on my stack there of Series 1. Just old school Fleer Ultra, King Griffey Jr., classic. Flare Ultra logo, 1993, Griffey, the old school Seattle uniform. That's just a cool card. That is just a cool card. Here's some more turkey red. John Means for Baltimore was an all-star last year. Um, J.D. Martinez for Balt or for Boston, excuse me. This card's in a not quite as good shape. The bottom left-hand corner there is dinged up a little bit. This is George Brett, uh, all-star card. This is 83. Here's another all-star card. This is 82. We're going back a little bit. There's the 84. Looks like this is at the old Tiger Stadium. See those blue pillars in the background? That's got to be old Tiger Stadium. George Brett, 84. Then some other Turkey Reds. Wilson Con Contreras, Frankie Lindor. I don't know if that's a printing error down there or what. Uh, Matthew Boyd for Detroit. Anderson for... Uh, Garrett and or excuse me, Brian Anderson for the Marlins, Tanaka, and then Doolittle for the Nationals. There's a hundred cards in this Turkey Red set, and so uh, he had a lot of them. And I just picked them up. Here's some other base cards from 2020 Series One that I didn't have. Matthew or Matt Carpenter. He also had these, which I'm not really trying to get all the inserts, but this was like a really good price. I want to say like a quarter or fifty cents for Victor Robles. Decades, decades next. Um, another insert, this is, <laughs> look at that, Chris Paddock trying to hide his face in his glove when he's in the stretch. Uh, Ramon Laureano, I think all those were like a quarter, maybe 50 cents to tops, so I grabbed up all of those. The Ronald Acuna Jr. 1984 anniversary card, insert. Uh, then some others that I already had, I already had the Sean Murphy, but it was his rookie, and so I grabbed it. AJ Puck, I already have this card, but the rookie card for a good price. Uh, the Fernando Tatis, Turkey Red. Eloy Jimenez, Turkey Red. These were look, cost a little more. Those might have been like 75 cents. Uh, here's an insert from not too long ago. 3,000 Hit Club, George Brett from Topps. 
on the back. This is 2016 tops. Just like the photo, uh, photo there in the, the background. I like the design on that. Uh, I got this old school Steve Nash, which I believe is his Ricky. Uh, this is 1996-97. Uh, the Kobe Bryant of this is, wow, going absolutely nuts right now. This is the Topps Ricky of Steve Nash, who I think maybe could be a Hall of Famer one day. He might already be in the Hall of Fame. Huh? To be honest, I don't follow basketball Hall of Fame as closely as baseball. There's 83 George Brett again. Uh, Fernando Tatis to kind of pair up with my Ronald Acuna Jr. 85 parallel card, or not parallel card, insert card. There's a Ronald Acuna Turkey Red. These were the most expensive ones that I bought. These might have been like 75 cents or a dollar a piece. The 2019 Mike Trout, just regular base card. I just didn't have it. I have the version of this card that has like a has like the cloth back um, to kind of use the tops parallel there. But uh, just a cool card of Mike Trout. Some other rookies that I already have, but Jesus Lazardo, a couple of those. I think he's going to be really good. Nico Horner, Decades Next. Got the little rookie card insignia there in the top right-hand corner. And then just a few more George Brett cards to finish it up. We got the 88 Donruss. Um, 89 Donruss. The 89 Donruss MVP. I don't think I actually ordered these. I think he just... I think he just gave these to me because I don't remember purchasing these. I don't. I wouldn't have picked out this Donruss card. I think he just threw these in for free. So appreciate this guy, George Brett. Yeah, I, I definitely didn't didn't bid on these. Here's some more George Bretts: 80, 91 Donruss, um, 92 Donruss, 90 Fleer, and 92 Fleer. So I appreciate that. Uh, the guy just threw in some extra cards there because I did not bid on those at all. So overall, there you have it, guys. There's my mail day. I want to say I spent about um, $20 on these two team lots I featured in the first package. I probably spent close to $15, maybe close to, yeah, $15 or $20 on these individual single cards in the frustrating transparent tape. And then I spent, I think, $15, $16 total on all of these cards here with the shipping and everything. So appreciate you guys watching. Sorry about having to take so long to open up that package. And... Uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.